Okay, so we're going to fit you for some school shoes today. Mm. Basically, how I become a, a trainer, um, class put on a one-day course, and uh, anyone who does children's fittings must do this course. And basically, it takes you through how to use class gauges to measure the foot, and also it goes through the dangers of ill-fitting shoes, whether it's too big or too small, or too wide, or too narrow. And once they've completed their course, um, they have to go through 20 supervised fittings. Once they've done those fittings, then they can go ahead and start fitting shoes by themselves. All right, Max, we're gonna put both the shoes on and then we'll do some checks. Every foot is different. So in order for a growing foot to have the right shoe, Clark's came up with this 10 step check. So the first thing we're gonna do is check the, the heel grip at the back to make sure that the foot's not overly slipping out the back. Give it a tug on the shoe there, and that's good. Also, we check the length as well. So basically how we do that, we no longer have to check with the old uh, pushing down on the front of the toe here. Uh, what we do is we take out that insole there and basically we get the child just to put his foot on the back there and because uh, this is a perfect indication of the inside of the shoe and if they've got a thumb space in the front there then we know that that's the perfect length for them. Now look at that thumb space at the front there. Now that's perfect. That shows me that you've got enough length in there. We also check the width once the foot is in. So what we do is we rub our thumb across here and if you've got a nice wave motion going across the top there we know that there's enough room. If you can pinch it that means there's too much space. And if you've got no wave motion at all, that means there's no room in there at all. It's a nice wave motion going along there. Nice wave motion there as well. Another way you can check the width as well is just with the lace up. Make sure that there's a nice finger space uh, in between the laces there, between the eyelids, right along there. We check the top lines to make sure that the ankle's not sitting low or rubbing on, on the top lines here. We check the back as well to make sure that that's not rubbing on your heel as well. Check those top lines there. That's perfect. And also for the girls' shoes, the Mary Janes, we check the instep bar to make sure that's not cutting into the foot and to make sure that the Velcro strap goes right to the end. And then we get them up to have a walk around and see how it feels. Watch what I can do. 